So what's up guys, time for your epic tier list of 2020 since they added a couple new epic characters. And let's see if the list has even changed. So starting off, um, I'm adding Zack to this list. Finally, he is a good character in the end. I mean, I just didn't have him leveled up, but it, Zack is actually a per good character for the psych outs for having a two cost psych out. The back keto flip does a lot of damage for just being a two. And Windmill is probably like his only downfall attack, but everything else is pretty solid for the character to be in this top 10. Zack is great. He has a Dragon Sword power mode, which gives him extra moves. So he still fights like pretty much almost like a king. So he still got it. Taylor makes this top 10 list just because she's Taylor and I actually liked her moveset. Like she was very impressive to play and she really added some depth. I mean, for an anniversary character, she wasn't that half bad. She was a really good epic with good damage output and some good tricks up her sleeve. Delta Strike being one of those tricks definitely brought Taylor up to this tier list and over even more of the other epics. I mean, she's really fun to play and she has some really good EP moveset cost. Uh, don't do a focus on that. Oh, yeah, I did, got 400 played. That's just how many people aren't really playing this game. <laughs> Sorry about that. Distractions, of course. Free unboxing. All right, next on our list, we have... <clears throat> you know, I guess Solar Ranger still remains at the top 10. I only say this because she's, she's still pretty viable, even for her 3s and 4s. It's still 3s and 4s. I mean, 3s and 4s still make a character a character. I mean, that's what... It's just more balanced out where she actually feels like an epic character. Now she's like a balance. Like she feels just right now. So she still stays in the top 10. She's still pretty good to play and hang out with. So yeah. Solar Ranger is still in that type of list of things. Alright, next we have Goldar. Goldar's on this tier list. I don't know why I didn't put him on in the first place, but no, nah, no, nah, he gets it. I was just making a joke. Goldar is definitely in the top 10 of epic leaders to play. Very OP leader. By OP, I mean he has really good tricks. The sweep is uncanny. I mean, the fact that Goldar Slash now sweeps is really busted. And you can go into any of these breaker moves that do heavy amount of damage. So the fact is Goldar makes this list because he now he's much better. He has sweeps. He can do anything. It's a it's one of the, the craziest characters now. Ever since that update, Goldar is definitely more used and more fun to play. All right, in this top 10, obviously, Black Dragon finally made his way to this list after all this time with that update. Black Dragon can fight. He has hyper armor, as he should, because he's a freaking robot with the hyper... Black being off of the Dragon Sword and all that nonsense. Great character now, very fun to play, and also nice for tricks as well due to the hyper armor. So you can get around a lot of strikes and breakers and shields, if necessary, depending on how long a shield lasts. So he makes our... Top 5 cut. I mean, well, top 10. You know what I mean. Uh, Gemma. Nothing's really changed about her. Like, absolutely nothing has changed about Gemma. She's still good. She's still very usable. Like, honestly, you can't go wrong with Gemma. It's like, wow, this character still busts even all the time. Direct aim. At, if direct aim was still at 2, holy crap, she'd be redonkulous still. Thank God that got fixed at Mobile Masters. 2018. You're welcome, America. So yeah, Gemma is good where she's at. She's still a strong fighter. Nonetheless, if you own her, congratulations. You have some of the top 10 epic leaders. Like, for sure. Alright, we got White Tommy here. Obviously, White Tommy. He, he legit got a random buff that made him actually really stupid. Fainting Rush, not only does he get dodge attack with green, he also has a sweep on it now. So in the end, that attack is stupid now. Even if you try to do a breaker and try to can't, nope, doesn't work with the sweep. So now Faint Rush can go into all of his other moves. Flying Tiger can now be comboed into Faint Rush, so that's nice. So Faint Rush goes into Flying Tiger easier. So that was nice of them to update Tommy. Apparently, like people didn't like him, like he was, or we had to break him again. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Why Tommy, man? Now he's on this list for sure. He wasn't before, I don't think. Ah, uh, next is Ranger Slayer. Nothing's really changed about that. I mean, Ranger Slayer really knows what she's doing. She has plenty of combos. She legit kills it on ladder sometimes. Once you get Blast Blitz off, the combos start to begin, and you're legit doing a 20,000 combo in like two seconds. It's a really great character nonetheless. 
Because once you nail it, it's over, and Ranger Slayer just starts killing Ladder with ease. Like, she's very strong. Like, I remember I got this character, I couldn't believe it. Now she's, like, the best leader of epics still today. Honestly, I gotta give it up to my boy, Lambo. He's definitely still in my top ten because of the way he works. The way he does things. I mean, that Shield of Light does so much damage. It's ridiculous. It, he is known as the clutching of epics. Just that one shield smash and you get away with everything. It's one of the best moves. One of the best things to do, and he's just a very, very strong character, and that's why he's still in the top ten. So if you own him, congrats, because he's awesome as fudge, and he actually kills a lot too. He's always been the clutch. People called him trash at the beginning. I started playing him, and I started seeing all the big potential with that shield of light doing like a twenty thousand crit. That was nuts. That just—I'm sorry. He stays on—he stays on this list for a while until that shield of light somehow gets nerfed. Period. And of course, last but not least on this top 10 is Psycho Green. <laughs> Let me just get the costume off. Oops, sorry. It's Psycho Green. Yeah, you know, screw it for the lulls. So the top, just Psycho Blue is definitely one of the best characters. He definitely makes the top 10. Yeah, pretty much, but okay, but reality check. Uh, yeah, Psycho Green's a very strong contender. He knows what he needs to do. Once you get those 10 marks, he also becomes a Clutch King and also a great ender for uh, your opponent because if your Batbreaker hits for like 20,000, your opponent's dead. The game's practically over. You just killed him to death once you hit those 10 marks. And hitting that 10 marks is legit so fun and easy, you can get it done in two seconds. And the other part is, <laughs> if this dude crits, it's, all, it's either going to be you're still alive or it's game over. I know a maxed out one of these guys is legit critting for 40 cows 40,000 damage so just 110 and if it crits it's already game over there is no and after that combo once the 10 marks are there and you get that psych out it's over that breaker's gonna kill you period so godly very very godly so in the end that is your epic tier list of your top 10 leaders you should be playing they're very strong very used and pretty much my list of meta on today's roster so anyways guys thanks for watching be good stay safe stay tuned for a rare tier list i'm your boy i'm signing out be good stay safe and have a good one